Okay, here's some jigs you can use which come along with the rear spoiler. Um, there are two cutouts there for the um, rear wiper washer squirt. And the other two jigs are for the side up the top there. So you can use those or there are some measurements there if you need to take the measurements and just uh, do it manually. So hopefully that's um, going to help you a bit. Next we'll move on to the next section. Okay, to get these off, I'm using some bike tyre pieces to get the tyres off. So you've got to pry this in here. Just gently. It takes a bit to get them off. But that one's got to come up. This one's got to come out on the bottom. Once you've got that one, you just pull this one out this way without snapping anything. You don't want to snap these pins here, so they're all intact. They're all intact. And you can just pull this clip off here if you need to later on and push it back in. Okay. Because we need access to this hole here to drill the hole. Okay, next is to stick these templates on. This is the right hand side and it's aligned with the panel on one side. And if you see, if you look at that thing where it says drill hole, I've got um, the millimeters cut there, which is 28 millimeters in from the side and 49 millimeters down from the top and then you center punch the holes and then drill them and This is the same thing. I've aligned the jig to the left hand side and it's got the hole punch there So it's 28 in 28 millimeters in and 49 down from the top and I'll center punch the holes and drill it with a three millimeter drill so That's done and there's your hole a three miller pilot hole which you've drilled through and that should exactly align with the um, with the rear spoiler that we're going to put on the jigs is not very accurate. It says end panel. Okay, it says end panel there. But if we look down here where we've done the cutout, there's not much room to move. So I'll put up a photo of what's in the instruction booklet, but I'm gonna have to try and put the spoiler over the top of this and try and mark out exactly where they are. So as you can see in the video in the red circle there, it's got R end which is like the start of the crease which is very hard to define with the templates given so I'll come up with an alternative in the next video and you can see what I've done. What I've done is I've just gone 330 in from the centre which is around here somewhere, just looked up from the inside, up under here, 332 out and just put a marker there so where that ends and I know it's 45 mil down from there where the hole is down here somewhere so hopefully that's going to work because the jigs just don't tear exactly where to drill so I've done that on either side I'll take the I'll take this spoiler off again and I'll um, drill the hole. So the holes are drilled and I didn't make them 9 mils as specified because they're a little bit big and a little bit hard to fill in and I do my water to get down there, so um, here's the other side. Now we just got to paint these on the insides with the W W32 paint, and we might, I'm going to apply some um, silicon on the inside, which I think is going to be better. I'll show you the inside from the inside. There's the um, there's the holes here which were meant to, for the specific thing is to put a bolt through so they can go into the spoiler and there's the other bolt there, it's on either side as you can see I've got these panels off here and there's the other bolt there so I'm going to paint those just on the inside there in there, I took the burrs off, all the burrs have been taken off and I'll paint these on the inside so it doesn't rust in the future now here's the actual spoiler, as you can see here, 
that's where the bolt goes into and there's a, a rim around the outside here this is a ring it's like a piece of foam that probably protects it from waterproofing but I'm going to put a small coat of silicon around here so I don't want it to get in these ones here I don't know why they don't have a, a round seal the same thing but I'm going to silicon around here a little bit so it just presses against it silicon will be pretty easy to get off the car in the future if it, if it ever gets removed and here's the pull tabs to remove these pieces of plastic here and there's some um, it's like a seal uh, what, what would you call it? double sided tape which sticks onto the roof as well and along here there's a lining that's a lining there and a lining up here but I can't see why water won't get in here and eventually work its way up into that hole there so I want to try and seal around that and I'll sit, put a bit of silicon around that as well so I'll show you the car without the spoiler and with the spoiler and I'll take a couple of photos and have them side by side so you can see pull these strips off here Place it there. Put one screw on this side. Just put it loosely. Come around this side. You put the other screw. Here, just align it. Keep it loose so you can move it round. And you get your socket, put the bolt in, and place it up in through here. one. Just keep it loose at the moment. And put the other one up through here. Okay, you just got to push that over a bit. To line it up a bit more. Okay, that's lined up. Now I'll start to screw them up tightly. Just for this. Oops, that wasn't in properly. So I've got to redo that one. Try this one again. You might find it a little bit difficult to get it in there right, but you're just going to find the right angle. Three 
and oh, you know, just use the socket tightener, ratchet socket tightener to make it a bit tighter. Too tight, you don't want to strip it, strip the thread, so just keep it fairly tight. That's one. Two. So here is the finished result. Um, their recommendations was that I use a 9mm hole. I've used a 6. I thought that might have been a bit tighter fit and um, it was a little bit more difficult to get the 6mm uh, hole in there but um, here's the end result so I hope you like it. And if you ever think of installing one then uh, it's, it's not that hard but it took about 3 hours. Okay, thanks for watching.